Hello friends, welcome to Silly Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with the design of RC elements in the topic of uh, design of staircase. So the problem is design a yeah, one of the flight of the dog legged staircase spanning between the landing beams using the following data. So the data is number of steps in the flight is 10, T thread equal to 300 mm then rise is 150 mm then landing beam thickness is with this uh, 300 mm then we can use the m20 grade concrete and fe415 steel okay so now fck is 20 then fy value is 415 so the number of steps is 10 so the t equal to 300 r equal to 150 mm okay so now we can find out the effective span So now the effective span, so the effective span equal to, so now the 10 steps into 300, okay, so 300 is the thread thickness, so now we know that this is a staircase, so this is a raise, that is 150 mm, this is the thread 300 mm, okay, so the number of steps is 10, so now the total length is 300 into number of steps okay so now 10 into 300 okay plus 300 mm so this 300 mm this 300 mm is the landing width okay so the landing width because it's uh, given that is the staircase spanning between the landing beams okay so now we can add the landing beams okay so now we got the value of 3000 300 mm okay so that is 3.3 meter okay so next thing is thickness of slab so thickness of slab so now we can take the, this one is simply supported beam so the span by 20 okay equal to 3000 300 divided by 20 so now we got the value of 165 mm so this is the thickness of the slab okay so now the overall depth equal to 165 mm okay so next thing is effective depth t equal to we can minus the cover that is the 15 centimeter cover so now 140 mm okay so this is because 140 effective cover is our effective depth plus 15 mm cover thickness so the total is 165 mm okay so next thing is we can calculate the load so after that we can find out the moment then area of steel reinforcement okay so now the dead loads so first thing is we can calculate the dead load on slope that is ws equal to 0 0.165 that is the depth of uh, overall depth into 1 meter span into 25 that is unit weight of concrete okay so now we got the value of 4.125 kilo newton per meter okay so next thing is the uh, dead load is the slope okay so this is a staircase okay so this is a slope okay so now we can uh, convert into horizontal okay so this is the slope distance okay so now we can convert into horizontal distance so now we can take dead load on horizontal okay so dead load on horizontal so now we can take ws into root of r square plus t square divided by t okay so now we can substitute 4.125 root of our value is uh, here we can take the in mm so now we can take 0 0.15 square plus t is 0 0.3 square divided by 0 0.3 so now we got the value of 4.61 kilo newton per meter okay so this is the load okay load on horizontal okay so now we can take uh, dead load of one step
okay so this uh, load on the slab so now we can take the step so now 0 0.5 into 0 0.15 into 0 0.3 okay so into unit weight of concrete okay so now we got the value of 0 0.56 kilo newton per meter okay so now uh, we can take the one meter length load on step per meter length okay so now we got the value of 0 0.56 into 1000 one meter length divided by 300 okay so 300 is the uh, width of the thread okay so thread dimension so 0 0.56 is the dead load of one step okay so this is a 0 0.5 is the area okay so this is a half into b into h okay so this is a formula he we can use here into unit weight of concrete so now the unit weight of concrete is kilo newton per meter cube here is the meter square so meter square and meter cube will be cancelled the kilo newton per meter is come here okay so now uh, load on the one step so for meter length so now we got the value of 1.86 kilo newton per meter okay so next thing is we can take the finishes load so finishes load we can take 0 0.53 kilo newton per meter okay so now we can add all the loads we got the value of total load okay so now the total load so that is dead load only total dead load 4.61 this is the load on slab then step load is 1.86 plus the finishes load is 0 0.53 so totally we have in the 7 kilo newton per meter okay so then service load so that is live load equal to we can assume that 5 kilo newton per meter square 5 kilo newton per meter square so we can take the 1 meter so now kilo newton per meter okay so for 1 meter 5 kilo newton per meter okay so now the total load So total load is dead load plus live load so now we got the value of 7 plus 5 that is equal to 12 kilo newton per meter okay so next thing is we can take the factor load so factor load is w u equal to 1.5 into w that is equal to 1.5 into 12 okay so now we got the value of 18 kilo newton per meter okay so next thing is we can uh, calculate the bending moment so bending moment now we can uh, substitute the value w l square by 8 okay so now w is 18 into l square so l is 3.3 .3 square divided by 8 so now we got the value of 24.5 kilo newton meter so this is the bending moment okay so now we can uh, find out the check for the depth so now d equal to root of mu divided by 0 0.138 fck d okay so now we can take 24.5 into 10 power 6 okay now we can convert into newton mm because the fck is in newton mm okay root of divided by 0 0.138 fck values 20 newton per mm square into b values 1000 so solving this now we got the value of 90 4.2 mm okay so now we provide 140 mm so hence save okay so now we can find out the main reinforcement
so main reinforcement we have we know the formula m u equal to 0 0.87 f y a s t into d into 1 minus a s t into f y divided by f c k b d okay so now we can substitute all the values over here so the mu is 24.5 into 10 power 6 equal to 0 0.87 into fy values 415 into ast we don't know we have to find out so the d value is 140 into 1 minus ast again we have to find out then fy values 415 divided by fck is 20 into b values 1000 into d value is again 140 okay so here the only unknown is ast so solving this we got the value of ast equal to 530 mm square so this is the area of reinforcement we have to provide okay so now we can take 12 mm dia boss so 12 mm dia boss at 200 mm center to center okay so next thing is distribution reinforcement so now the distribution for reinforcement is 0 0.12 percentage of bd okay so now we can take 0 0.12 percentage that is 0 0.12 divided by 100 into b values 1000 into d is capital d that is overall depth that is 165 okay solving this we got the value of 198 mm square okay so now we can provide 8 mm dia boss at 200 mm center to center okay so this is the method we can solve the problem again we will see next video thank you